Hello, Wings is a box modeler, so let's create our first model, a box. When you move the mouse, elements that can be selected are highlighted in green. Selected elements are highlighted in red. Elements can be vertices, edges, surfaces or complete objects. The icons at the top indicate which type of element you are working with. To select an element, you click on it. To deselect it, click again. To deselect everything, press the spacebar. Next, we need a camera to watch, to watch our model from all angles. Everyone has its preferences on a camera. Wings offers one for everyone's taste. We choose the Maya camera. At the bottom of the window you see the operations possible. Press the Alt key, then the left mouse button to rotate the camera. Alt and the middle mouse button moves the camera. With Alt and the right mouse button you can zoom in and out. Next, let's do some actual modeling. We select a single edge, then use the right, then use the edge ring command to select the ring of edges. We activate the command with the right mouse button. Now we connect all selected edges to create another edge. This edge we slide on the box. Again, use the right mouse button for the command. Deselect everything with the space key and click on the icon to switch to object mode. In object mode or body mode, we subdivide our model. Now, let's extrude a face or surface. The normal vector points away from the surface, perpendicular to the surface. All modeling commands in Wings are activated with the right mouse button and they operate on the selected element or elements. Now let's add more geometry. We create two more edge loops. These loops will make the model look less rounded when subdivided, as we will see in a moment. We don't need to actually subdivide the model, a quick smoothed preview will do. Now let's simplify the model. We want to get rid of some geometry. We select the geometry and delete it with a hole command. This is somehow different than in other modelers, but it has the same effect. The hole that we have created can be closed by selecting a face adjacent to it and using the hole command but with the right mouse button. We could shrink the hole by connecting some vertices
But to finally close the hole, we have to use the hole command with the right mouse button. Finally, I want to show you the aim command, because it is important when you work with complex models. You use this command normally with the keyboard shortcut. It focuses the camera on an element. You move the mouse to the element you want to focus on and press A on the keyboard. Then you can zoom in to that element. Thanks for watching.